My skates are cheap. Yeah, these are skates I've used all winter. And to be honest, they're okay. But there are also a few things I don't like. Beginners may want soft skates as they allow more mobility. But as you progress, you'd want stiffer skates. These skates are really soft. And I do feel them twisting a bit when I sprint, make turns and hard steps. It's not the end of the world. Whatever I try to do, I can still achieve. But if I did play serious hockey, they would have been too slow. These skates only have 7 eyelets on each side. Typically hockey skates have 9 to 11. Since my skates have few eyelets, it's difficult to lace them to a real snug, tight fit. The original laces are unwaxed. I replaced them with waxed ones, which helps. It only cost me about $5 or so, so it's a really cheap and affordable upgrade. These skates weigh 1150 grams each. That's very heavy for ice hockey skates. Hockey skates are normally somewhere around 7 to 800 grams. For me this does not really matter though. I'm used to inline skates that are a lot heavier anyway. I don't know what steel they use for the blades, but a fair guess is that it's very cheap. And I do notice they get done rather quickly. However, this is also due to the kind of ice I skate on. Anyway, my point is that if cheap skates come with cheap steel, and they do need to be sharpened more often, this will make them more expensive to maintain. These skates are good enough for me, since I only skate for fun. Still, if I had to buy new skates today, I'd go a little bit up in price. I'd buy stiffer skates with at least 9 eyelets. A beginner may be better off with soft skates though. A serious hockey player, of course, will need a lot better skates. For example, these skates are very heavy compared to more expensive skates. For me it doesn't matter, as I only play pond hockey. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment below. I'm JPJ, for more tips and info, please check out my Facebook page. As always, thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for updates.